Members, uh, you're about to consider one of the most important bills that we can take a vote on in the next couple of months and candidly this entire year. In December of 2017, Revenue Bulletin 2017-02 was placed, placed into effect, which substantively eliminated the ability of any business operating in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania from depreciating an asset until it is sold. That action single-handedly and overnight made Pennsylvania the least tax advantaged state in the nation. I'm a certified public accountant. I've been in business and have worked in my own small concert consulting firm, as well as been a chief financial officer for over 40 years. And right after that happened, I began to work with the finance staff, and I want to thank Chairman O'Neill and Jeremy Keel, the executive director, as we worked to craft a bill. And our initial language in the bill would have restored full bonus depreciation as happened under the new tax law that was signed by the federal government which allowed us to reinforce the value of growing our economy. We negotiated. We worked with the Department of Revenue. We worked with members on the Democratic side, and we made an amendment that put Pennsylvania instead in full compliance with what most other states do. We can depreciate our assets. We can restore our competitiveness. We may not think this is particularly important, but let me put an example. Pennsylvania's unemployment rate is about eight tenths of one percent higher than the national average. And as such, that cost us approximately $92 million in revenue. We recently just had a budget that was passed, and thanks to the tremendous work of leadership, this provided an opportunity in which the economic framework can be established to have no new taxes and restore our commonwealth. If this bill is not passed today, and our companion bill you passed, Senate House Bill 2017, with the great effort of the other CPAs in the caucus, passed this chamber by 183 to 7 in April. As of right now, every entity in the commonwealth of Pennsylvania has had to make two tax payments based upon something that has actually hurt their ability to grow. We need to pass this bill now. It is a, an identical bill to what we passed in April. And I ask you, please, let's send this message loud and clear before Amazon makes a decision, before other employers make a decision that Pennsylvania is not the place to operate. The budget that was just put into effect is dependent upon the resolution of this bill and a favorable vote, we absolutely have to have, and I encourage a yes vote. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I want to take a brief moment to congratulate the true author of the legislation which is now before us. Representative Frank Ryan, a CPA, identified this rogue behavior by the Department of Revenue immediately worked about developing a solution, worked about gathering an understanding by so many of us on both sides of the aisle, did everything he needed to do. And it is important legislation to pass today, but there's a little extra good news because it's now SB 1056, it gives us reliable information that in the Senate, their photocopiers are working just fine. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.